Mr. Zakir Naik. It's Iman from Afghanistan. I'm 15 years old and I'm a Muslim. I have two questions. When does Salah become fard for a person? Is it the age of puberty or age of 10? Number two, what should we do about missed prayers? I unfortunately missed prayers for years. Should we just repent or cover it? And if I must cover it, how many years should I cover? Because I became adult in 14 and now I'm 15. Should I cover just one year or five years? The question posed by Iman from Afghanistan is that at what age should a person, at what age does it become fard for a person to offer salah? Is it the age of puberty or the age of 10? First, the name Iman is also of a girl, also of a boy. So I don't know whether the question posed by the questioner, is it a male or is it a female? Is it a girl or is it a boy? We know that you are 15 years old, but we don't know whether you are a girl or a boy because Iman is a word, is a name used for man as well as used for a boy as well as for a girl. But in respect to what it is, the correct age at which the Salah becomes fard is at the age of puberty. And the age of puberty differs between different people, between different sex, whether it's male or female, whether you're coming from a cold country or a hot country, whether you're living in India or Afghanistan or USA, it differs. If you're a girl, the right age is at puberty when you start having menstrual cycle. A girl can start having menstrual cycle even normally, it's between the age of 13, 14. Sometime it can be even 12. It can even be 10. I, being a doctor, am aware that girls, even at the age of 9, they start the menstrual cycle. So the day a girl starts having menstrual cycle is the day she reaches puberty. And from that time, it becomes further on her to offer salah. And for a boy also. So the average age may be 13, 14. Sometimes it can be late to the age of 15. And since you said that you reach puberty at the age of 14, so that from that time, salah becomes further for you. If you're a boy, but naturally from the time you start having pubic hair and the signs of puberty comes, that's the time when Salah becomes further. And for a boy also, it's similar. It may be the age of 14, can be 15, can be 13. It varies between individual. So as far as, far as you're concerned, since you said that you reach the age of puberty at, at the age of 14, then your Salah becomes fard from the age of 14. And you said that now you're age of 15. So you missed your fard Salah for one year, not five years. Regarding a question that should you cover up or should you catch up or should you make up for the further salah that you have missed for the past one year or should you just repent? There are two opinions for this. There's one opinion which says that you should make up for it and as many times as you offer your fard or zohar or asar or maghrib or isha, at the same time you keep on offering an additional for the time that you have missed. This is one opinion, but the more correct opinion is that if you have missed the Salah intentionally and purposefully, there is no expiation. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, mentioned in Hadith of Sayyid Bukhari and Sayyid Muslim, that if a person forgets to offer Salah, there is no expiation, there is no expiation, there is no expiation and the moment he remembers, he should offer it. Another narration says that if a person sleeps and doesn't offer salah, the moment he wakes up, the moment he remembers, he should offer. There is no expiation for that. The moment he wakes up, he should offer salah. So based on these and various say hadith, the Prophet was very emphatic and clear that if you forget, if you miss your salah because of forgetfulness or because you're sleeping like Fajr salah, you, you oversleep, so there's no expatiation for it. And the moment you remember it, you should pray it immediately. You should not wait till your next salah is there. Immediately and Allah will not hold responsible. There's no sin on that. So the second opinion, which is the correct opinion of the scholars, is that if you miss it intentionally, out of laziness or saying, okay, I'll read after, after, then the salah time is over, or you know it is far then you may only offer once in a day or you may not offer at all for many years 
according to the second opinion, which is the more correct opinion, there is no expiation for the salah that you have intentionally missed. It is a major sin. It is a major sin. So if you intentionally miss any salah, it's a major sin. And the only remedy for this is that you repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You ask for forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you repent and inshallah Allah will forgive you. And to compensate for that which you have missed, there is no expiation. But the scholars say that you can increase your nawafil salah, your sunnah salah, the sunnah the sunna mokada, the sunna ger mokada, you increase that and do more good deeds. For example, give more charity, give more of duration, feasibility. So do more good deeds which will compensate for the sins you have done. But you don't have to repeat the salah you have missed. And this is the more correct and the authentic opinion which was even followed by the second caliph of Islam, that is Umar bin Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, including his son, Abdullah ibn Umar, and various sahabas. So there are various hadith that reaffirms that for this, it's a sin, and there is no compensation, like, don't have to repeat your salah. It's a sin, you have to ask for forgiveness, and this was the view, which was also there by Ibn Hazm, uh, may Allah have mercy on him, even by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, even, even by Ibn Qayyum, even by Shawkani, all these scholars, even by contemporary scholars, whether it be Sheikh bin Baz, Sheikh Utaymin, Sheikh Nasr al Almani, all of them say that if you miss your salah intentionally, then you don't have to repeat it, you have to ask for forgiveness and do more good deeds, whether charity, more of Nawafil salah, more of the Sunnah salah. And this is the correct opinion. Even those people, who say that you have to read, they don't say that once you read, it is like you know, if you have forgotten and if you offer your salah immediately when remember, there's no sin. They don't say that if you have missed and if you offer salah, there's no sin. They say that it's a major sin. But if you read, then your sin becomes less. But the more correct opinion is what I gave earlier, that you don't have to repeat it. Because imagine, suppose you realize at the age of 50 that I should offer salah. And the time that you had to offer salah was when you became an adult, when you reached puberty, maybe at the age of 14. So now you say, for 36 years I did not offer salah. Now if I have to read for all the 36 years, will I live that long? So maybe you'll say, okay, since I did not read salah for 36 years, I will not read for the rest of the life. So logically also, it doesn't make sense. You have to ask for forgiveness. Inshallah, I'll forgive you. You can read as many more sunnah salah. Salah, Sunnah Mokada, Sunnah Gyar Mokada, Tahajjud Salah, and do other good deeds like extra fasting and giving more charity. So, this opinion, which is more authentic opinion, so for you also, you missed your Salah for one year because you reached puberty at the age of 14, but you don't have to repeat those Salah which you missed for one year. Just see to it that you increase your Nawafil, you offer your Sunnah Mokada. Ghair Moqada, offer your tahajjud, offer the, offer the, in the last one third of night, fast more, give more charity, inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in your blessings. Hope that's the question.